Court, Sir C. V. Raman. Ask the right questions and nature will open doors to her secret. 20th February is an important day for the scientific community. Nobel laureate Sir C. V. Raman discovered the Raman effect on this day in 1928. 2022 marks the 94th year of this landmark discovery. In India, we celebrate it as the National Science Day to commemorate the discovery that revolutionized multiple domains of science and still forms the basis of varied application in these fields. On this special occasion, we are privileged to have with us Dr. Jude Martin Mendes, Professor and Head of the Department of Applied Sciences and Humanities, Alberton Institute of Science and Technology, Kalamashiri. He has a PhD in Polymer Science and Rubber Technology from Kuchin University of Science and Technology. He is also the former Vice Principal of St. Albert's College. Thank you, sir, for accepting our invite. I am Dia Rakesh, this is Atalia Jaikesh and Kurian Jobi. We are class 12 students and we would love to welcome you on behalf of Sacred Heart CMI Public School. Without further ado, let's move on to the first question. Integrated approach in science and technology for a sustainable future. This is the theme of National Science Day 2022. Sir, what are your thoughts on the theme and its present relevance? See, what we need right now is uh, sufficient food, medicines, and uh, a happy life. We have shortage of uh, energy sources, so we have started uh, tapping renewable energy. We are getting into new plantation technologies where we get a uh, better crop, and uh, we want the uh, food without poison. Yeah. So that's our lookout. And uh, we want safe medicines which do not have side effects. So we have to work in such a way. Our science has developed a lot. Our technology is keeping on developing. We have to use that to go for safer medicines, safer food, and uh, safer energy sector. Thank you, sir. So, sir, if one were to choose a career in pharmaceutical industry, what are the courses that he or she can likely take after the 12th standard? Yes. Right now, see, after your plus two, yeah. you can do your B farm, or you have bachelor's course in pharmaceutical chemistry. Yeah. And then after that, you can go into your post-graduation. Yes. So, after that, I wouldn't say start working. I would ask you to get into research. Because we want good scientists who have good ethics, yeah. good values. That is our lookout now. Yeah. Thank you, sir. So, could you tell us the possible uh, career options after a degree in B-Farm? See, you can get into the private sector as well as the uh, government sector. You have so many labs. You get into any hospital, you have a lab there. You need a person with B-Farm. You need a microbiologist, you need a biochemist. So you can select your degrees in such a way that you can get into the labs. Every factory, you have a chemist. Okay. So it can be from the pharmacy side, it can be from biochemistry side, microbiology, so on. So plenty of options for you. And uh, when you look into uh, the manufacturing side, chemical, um, medical manufacturing side, then we need you because the formulations have to be done correctly then the quality control has to be checked all that is being done by such people thank you sir what are the employment opportunities in this field like is it easy to get placed after graduating plenty of jobs are available only thing is uh, you shouldn't say i will work close to my house <laughs> no you should be willing to work anywhere. So, plenty of opportunities are there. So, thank you, sir. So, my next question is that the Honorable Finance Minister of India, Mrs. Nirmala Sidharaman, in the recent budget, which was done about two, three weeks back, she proposed the PLI scheme, Production Link Incentive Scheme. So, according to you, how do you think that uh, this particular scheme will help in the industry's expansion? Right. Production linked incentives. And what we find is, the small players are out. Yeah. 
the big players they have all applied for the incentives okay and from where is the money coming to give the incentives so obviously from That's, the government yes they will have to tax us the common man is going to be taxed yeah. that uh, the money goes to the companies <laughs> so i personally people will say okay you are not manufacturing medicines you are not manufacturing anything you are just uh, giving knowledge to somebody so you can say all that yeah. so <laughs> i'm not happy about that okay thank you sir so in your opinion is there a scope for new investments in the pharma sector in kerala it's a political question in fact <laughs> yes uh, whatever opinion is said it's going to be linked later on yes nobody feels kerala is a, an investor friendly state yeah. whatever you start immediately you try to put up a building okay 10 members from this union 10 from the other union 20 from the other union but you need just 10 people to do the work yeah. and they demand okay put in 40 that's the state where we are now yeah. so not investor friendly thank you sir so what is the biggest challenge faced by the pharmaceutical industry today in fact uh, very difficult to get the raw materials required and then the when you do your processing see you start with 2 kilograms of raw materials the ingredient what is required for the drug will be just 1% percent. and then to separate it purify it and uh, convert it into your drug it's going to be very expensive and when the medicine is expensive the common man says he is looting us the company is looting no gets a lot of money a lot of work is getting into converting the raw material into the drug thank you sir so can you give us a small briefing on the different branches in chemistry for degree and post graduation okay when you look into your degree level you can get into uh, chemistry itself where uh, we have uh, the two mains uh, single main as what we find in the normal colleges in kerala you have double main some of the colleges have started along with chemistry you can opt for physics or uh, mathematics and uh, the third one comes as a minor so two majors and one minor or you can have a triple main where all the three subjects are given equal importance but what they do is in the first year one subject is uh, slightly kept on a low key and that would pick up in the third year but all the three subjects come equally you can do polymer chemistry you can do biochemistry you can do your petrochemicals so many uh, science degrees are there and when you if you look into your technology branch you have a um, polymer science and rubber technology there straight away here in cochin uh, we have chemical engineering we have ceramic engineering material sciences so many like that and uh, all these degrees what i mentioned in the science branch you have the post graduation also so you can uh, when you do the triple main you have the option whichever i can master better i go for a pg for that so that is what you have to see it thank you thank sir so can you educate about uh, different branches of chemistry in engineering yes yes see straight away i put chemical engineering which is easily available in kerala that branch is available you have dairy sciences something new which you would have heard btech dairy sciences okay then you have your materials uh, sciences and material engineering okay that's something new then you can go into petrochemicals btech in petrochemicals that is there then btech in environmental sciences and environmental engineering all this after your plus 2 if you have some liking for chemistry these are the places where you can go into polymer science and rubber technology is there so polymer engineering alone is there without rubber technology and uh, that is a field which uh, needs a lot of good scientists now gets uh, you need to get new new polymers which is much stronger and uh, 
biodegradable so that uh, it doesn't hurt the environment. Yes, sir. Thank, thank you. Sir. Thank you. Sir. What is the scope of polymer chemistry? Right now, a lot of development have to come in because we were under the impression that by the year 2000, the engineering polymers would be flooding the market and the commodity polymers, what we use your uh, polyethylene, polypropylene, PVZ and all that will take a backstage, whereas uh, your engineering plastics, which can replace steel, mm. will come into the full force. You have the polymer, which you call Kevlar, very similar to nylon. In nylon, see, you have a, an aliphatic chain, whereas when you go to Kevlar, it's an aromatic chain. See, in nylon, you have CH26 and uh, CH24, in the two different monomers. Mm -hmm. Instead, in Kevlar, you have the benzene ring. And Kevlar fibers are 50 times stronger than, more tensile strength than steel fibers. So, it be started being used, okay. So, problem there is uh, to get the new monomer. You need a precursor, you need a new monomer. It's very difficult to branch that monomer in. So, that is one problem being faced by the polymer industry. And uh, never ending, the problem is we have want to go for recyclable and biodegradable polymers. Mm. That is the key way we have to work up again. So, we have to find out something new which can be used like this, biodegradable. Okay. National Science Day is a day that we remember Sir C. V. Raman and to celebrate science and its growth. Science is an element which is giving us new wings to fly. Science is organized knowledge and wisdom is organized life. Well, sir, that's it from us for today. Uh, we are so grateful for having uh, to spend some quality time with you, sir. Uh, we are reinforced with what we have heard and learned today. So, on behalf of Sacred Arts CMI Public School, Tevra, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, thank thank you, you very much.